Skeleton Key here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to day one of Skeleton Key's Mysterious Mayhem Readathon. I started off the day with a crossword puzzle. I have not completely filled it in yet, but uh, I do have the last few words figured out. So, so yay! So that's my my activity challenge for the readathon to solve a puzzle. So, going pretty good. And I also started in on villains and vengeance. I don't have my copy of right here, but yeah. So King Jonathan and I are back. And I've been reading Villains and Vengeance yesterday and today. And um, I'm still not quite done yet, but I'm really enjoying this. Oh, and this is a Siren's Benefit anthology. And so, yeah, I'm wearing my Siren's t-shirt today. Um, so, yeah, 2020, the Siren's Conference went online. So... As did many, many conferences. So before this week, I had already read, well, I wrote A Party of Poison Teas. And no, I, I this is a benefit anthology. I do not make any money from this. This, uh, this is all for the benefit of the Sirens Conference. Let's see, I had already read The Salt is Life by C.G. Aubrey. And so yesterday I read A Dragon Walks Into a Bookstore by S. M. Mack and uh, Refuge by Edith Hope Bishop, and that's another poem. Technically my my contribution is a poem, but it's it's I think of it more as four little pieces of microfiction. Today I read For Cine by Natalie J. Case and Space Carrion by J. S. Ertz. And I've started reading The Jin's Sword. After The Jin's Sword, then there's Break Me Open by Lola Lindell, You Understand by Rebecca Gomez Farrell, and Sirens by Stella Luna. I am thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this. If you're, if you're feeling vengeful, this is an excellent, excellent book to pick up because, yeah, vengeance rules. Or if you're just feeling villainous, too, that works. Because there's, there's much villainy on display. Okay, I'm an idiot. I have only just now realized that this book that I'm reading for the Book 2 Prize Judging, The Doctor's Blackwell by Janice P. Nomura, has a skeleton on it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so... I mean, part of a skeleton, but still. I just now saw that. I feel like an idiot. This doesn't have anything to do with books, but I'm just so happy that I've got my cabinets together. Well, I didn't do it. My husband and his friends did this. But I've got the glass all clean, and I've started putting my fancy stuff in there. And yeah, I, I like tea, so I have a lot of teapots. But yeah, this part of the house is still in chaos because we've had stuff kind of scattered and I'm just now getting it together. Yeah, so over at the park for my friend's birthday and a pipe has broken. The city is, uh, on the way, I hear. So, yeah, so the uh, picnic shelter is a little waterlogged. I came over early, so I am going to do some reading. Dinner this evening is Naporatan, which is a Japanese spaghetti dish. And I started with the Mythical Kitchen recipe, and uh, I, I 
amended it somewhat. I used grapeseed oil instead of olive oil, and I used hot dogs instead of Chinese sausages, all beef hot dogs. The only Asian market I've been to in town has closed, so I guess I need to find another Asian market. And um, Brian does not like mushrooms, so I used zucchini instead. I just remembered the other change I made to that recipe was uh, it called for green bell pepper, and I think green bell pepper tastes bitter, so I used a, uh, well, it wasn't orange. It was like red and orange and yellow, sort of streaky. I used a fancy bell pepper. So I did finish The Jin's Sword by Jasmine Nyack in Villains and Vengeance, but I am setting this aside because I have this that I also need to read for booktube prize judging, and so I can't really talk about this one yet, um, but yeah, it's got the, the rib cage thing going on in the background there, so, so there's my skeleton book. I do have to prioritize this one now, though, so that's what I'm doing right now in King John's eye. So yeah, it is Sunday afternoon, and a little ways past the halfway mark for the week, and I just got back from a book launch party at Barnes & Noble in Loveland. My friend Kathleen Donnelly released her book Chasing Justice this week. Uh, she's a friend from one of the Sisters in Crime book clubs that I'm in. So this is a canine mystery. So here's just a little bit of what it's about. After losing her military canine, former Marine Maya Thompson swears she'll never work with dogs again. But when she returns home to Colorado and accepts a job with U.S. Forest Service law enforcement, fate brings canine Juniper into her life just as another tragedy unfolds. And, um, and yeah, so there's romance, and there's a web of secrets, and there's all sorts of cool stuff in here. Uh, I have not read it. She, she read a little bit from Chapter 1 for us today, and I look forward to reading it for book discussion coming up. I did take some video at the store this, this afternoon, so we'll see if I've got anything I can show you. Um, it was kind of noisy and all, and um, I don't know how good of a job I did, but we'll see if I've got something. Also got a bookmark and a sticker for missile. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here for the halfway mark and get this video posted so that everyone can check in. And main thing is just, are you having fun? Are you enjoying reading some mayhem books in May? Yeah, so let me know in the comments below and I'll be checking back in with you uh, at the end of the week. Uh, in the meantime, please like and subscribe and see you all.